Hello cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today we are replying to the question if I only have to choose five brands to live with, which five brands I would have chosen? Well, I think that I don't have to explain a lot about the concept of this video because it's pretty much simple and I think that you have already seen my thumbnail and have read the tag. Basically, today we are discussing like if I only have to choose five makeup brands to continue my life with and only buy products for them, which five I would have chosen? Well, it was kind of a tough question because obviously I'm not using only five brands when I'm doing my makeup, but I had several criteria which I'm gonna explain later on and all the brands that I'm gonna mention are not about how important they are to me, but I chose my absolute five favorites and I'm ready to present them to you. So, if you you're ready? Let's start! Brand number one, NYX Professional Makeup. And I think that this wasn't a big surprise for a lot of you, especially if you are a little bit older viewers of this channel. You probably know how much I love NYX Professional Makeup. If you're new here, first of all, welcome! My name is Antigone. I love doing makeup, I love using glitter, obviously, and I love having a lot of colors on my face. In today's video, I'm analyzing my favorite brands, basically, and I hope that you stick around, I hope that you subscribe, and if you want to see more content of me, don't forget to check my Instagram and TikTok. Both of them are Cat Lady and Digoni, and I'm gonna leave all the details down in the description box. Now, back to the relevancy, I have quite a lot of products from NYX. Okay, let's start with my favorite palettes, and basically they are the collaborations that they have done with Netflix series. Here I have the collaboration from La Casa de Babel. I mean, it's an amazing palette. I love it so much from the design, the whole layout, the quality. Of course, the quality is mind blown. I love NYX's eyeshadows when it comes to collaborations. Also, I have this one right here. This is with Sabrina, my absolute favorite. It looks like a spell book and I'm dying. And I don't know when are you watching this video, if I have already posted anything relevant or not yet, but I have the newest collaboration with Wings on my way. It's coming. I'm super excited. I'm dying to try everything from this collab. But let's be real here. NYX is not only doing amazing palettes, they have a huge range of products and I have some other favorites as well, like their Marshmallow Primer. I mean, Oh, it smells so good! I love it so much. Also, I have a lot of lip products and lip pencils, and I don't say that 100% of their products are amazing, but for sure you can find a good 85 to 90% of their product range, which are really good, at least from my experience. And if you ask me about my personal favorites, well, I would say, first of all, their collaborations. They're doing amazing work. They try to pay attention to the details. They have super high quality. But when it comes to their regular product base, I would say their lip products. Well, specifically, I'm talking about soft matte lip cream crayon like this one right here, the ones with the names of the city. I have Moscow, I have Transylvania, and I have another one that I cannot really remember. And secondly, I also like a lot the Candy Slick. I don't know if they have been discontinued or not, but basically all the colors that I have from this series are absolutely amazing. So definitely, I highly recommend you to try products from NYX. I highly recommend you to give them a chance, and I I think that you're gonna like them. At number two, we have an equally affordable brand, and this time I'm gonna talk about Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay has a very big range of products, quite affordable, all of them. Like for this palette, I think I have paid around 10 euros, which is a very decent price. By the way, this is one of my favorite palettes. This is the pastels, and I mean, you can understand that I have loved this palette a lot the quality is amazing it's offering some very very beautiful pastel colors and I feel that it's so nice and compact and you can have everything and it's such a clever color story so this one is one of my favorites but also this one the Techni Days let me show you the colors him 
As you can understand, it's a completely different story from the other one. Here we are having bold colors, here we are having glitters. It's so amazing, it fills my soul with joy. And as you can see, I have already hidden the pan here. And I have it like, what? A month or two and I have already hidden the pan? I mean, I love this palette a lot. But Beauty Bay does not only create beautiful palettes. Also, it creates lip products like this one right here. This was, I think, limited edition from last Christmas, the Age of Opulence lipstick. It's amazing and it has glitters and it's super, super nourishing for the lips and it doesn't leave you with dry lips after the application so i truly love it now when it comes to face products i only own this highlighter it is called parade and it was released around pride time in order to support the whole lgbtq plus community which is something amazing in my opinion that's why i bought it believe me i don't need another highlighter now when it comes to the actual quality it's okay, it's decent, it's not mind-blowing. I mean, I have way better highlighters than this one. I don't find it that creamy as I find my other highlighters. But again, the price tag was quite decent as well, so I don't really complain about that. And I think that was the reason that I subconsciously didn't buy more products for face, powders and stuff like that, but I promise I will buy because I would like to try them and have an opinion for them as well. And also they have released false lashes, which I'm dying to try. So please, if you have tried anything from Beauty Bay, write down at the comments because I'm so curious to hear your opinion as well. Oh, I realized that I forgot to tell you about this makeup. Basically, I have filmed a step-by-step -step tutorial. It is called Duochrome Glitter Makeup, something like that. I haven't decided about the title yet, but I will attach a link down in the description box so you can click on it and you can find the tutorial and you can recreate this look. And if you do, please, please, please tag me, tag me on social. I really want to see your creations and I really want to see your creativity and where are you taking making all these looks and making them yours. Well, at number three, we have VE Cosmetics. And I think it's time to talk about some smaller indie brands, right? Well, VE Cosmetics is a UK indie brand and I think it's so magical and so amazing. Their aesthetics are everything according to my opinion. They are super goth, they have this witchy vibe which I truly love and let me show you some of their products. Basically they are giving an amount of the money that they are getting from this palette to stop the hunting of the foxes. So to me this is amazing and this is something that I would like to support and that's why that I bought this palette. Palette. But the main reason that I chose this brand to be one of the five brands that I'm gonna keep for the rest of my life is their huge variety on lip colors and specifically liquid lipsticks. I mean, where else can you find a silver lipstick? I mean, it's amazing! Look at it! I truly love it and I haven't found it anywhere else. Also, this blue, which is wow, it's so beautiful! Beautiful. I mean, you might say, who is wearing these colors? People, me. I love crazy colors. I love crazy lip colors as well. So I was looking at other brands about colors like this, colors like moldy green, because I love moldy green lips nowadays. Anyway, this is another story and I really couldn't find anything. And then I had a look at the store and I found all the colors that I've ever wanted in my life. And I'm like, yeah, we're here. I want this brand basically only for their lip products. But was this everything? No. Actually, if you don't know this about me, my skin tone is quite cool. So I have a difficult time to find a good bronzer for my skin tone because everything kind of turns into orange when it touches my skin. I don't know why, but I, it's so difficult for me. So when I saw this one from V Cosmetics, the Witch Please, which is basically a gray one. Yeah, Yes, it's a grey one. I truly fell in love with it and I said yes, I finally found the correct bronzer slash contouring powder for me. I instantly bought it. I mean, 
Look at the packaging. It has a pentagram on it. It's black. It says the word witch. It's just amazing. And to me, I haven't found a more cool tone bronzer. So if you have the same issue with me, I have the solution for you. Go to V Cosmetic Stores and they probably have something for you. At number four, we have Glosscots. Glosscots is a Swedish indie brand that they are doing amazing duochrome, multichrome and eyeshadows that in general calling my name. First palette that I'm gonna show you from them is this one right here. It is called Gal on the Moon and let me show you the color scheme. Oh my god! It's this one. It's so amazing. I have already hidden the pan here. I'm gonna move it a little bit and I hope that you will be able to understand the shift. I don't know what my camera is capturing right now, but I have a lot of swatches from this palette. It was the favorite product of one month that I am not really remembering right now, but the magical thing about this palette is that it contains 12 or 16, 12, effect eyeshadow. What do we mean with effect? All the eyeshadows in this palette, they are doing something. Basically, they are either metallic or duochromes or multichromes. They are so magical. I mean, yes, it's a companion palette, but I feel that in the price tag that they have around 22 to 25 euros, if I'm not mistaken, you're taking 12 eyeshadows when in other indie brands if you want to take one multichrome you're paying something like 20 euros for the one multichrome and here you get a full palette so the deal is truly amazing also i have another palette from them the look for rainbows one i mean this is another cute dream for me this is the more vibrant colors, the more happy colors, I would say. These two palettes are my two personalities, the dark one and the happy one. In this palette I have hidden two pans or three. Oh my god! I'm doing an amazing work here. If you can see, here I have hidden the pan, here and here as well. I love this palette. It's so beautiful. Basically, I have tried only eyeshadows and pigments from them, but to me it is enough to make them one of my favorite brands. And at this video I would say like, if I could live with five brands and I could take different products from the brands what I would have taken. So from gloss coats it would be for sure the eyeshadows. And now it's time for the Greek word of the day where I was looking this palette the girl on the moon and I found this amazing multichrome eyeshadow from pink to yellow to green and the name of the shadow is Eclipse. So I decided to tell you the Greek word for Eclipse because who doesn't love multichromes, right? So in Greek, for Eclipse, we say Eclipsy. Say it with me. e -cli -psi. Actually, Eclipse is a Greek word. Did you know that? So as always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word Eclipse or tell me the word in your own native language. And at number five, last but not least, we have Colourpop. So I don't think that it was a surprise for anyone that I would choose Colourpop to be in this list, but I love Colourpop. They are doing truly amazing stuff. Let me show you some of my favorite collab palettes that I have done. First of all, here we have the Malibu Barbie. Unfortunately, this is discontinued right now, but I'm gonna show you anyway because I love this palette and I love Barbie. And I love when makeup and Barbie are doing a collab and we have this result. They are respecting the Barbie brand so much. I mean, the color scheme represents Barbie and the Barbie world and Malibu and everything so perfectly. The pigmentation is there, the quality is there. I love this palette. It brings nostalgia to me, it brings happiness to me and what else can I say? Also, I want to talk a little bit about the Witching Hour from Hocus Pocus collaboration. I mean, look at this color scheme. It's so Halloween-y, it's so magical. I like this small detail right here and I like that in general they curate all the collabs so good. They try with the names, with the color schemes, with every little detail on the carton box, on the actual palette. 
I love it. I love how much attention they pay and I love that they are affordable and even their collabs are not like crazily expensive. Now, when it comes to some other products from Colourpop, I would say that I kind of distinguish this one right here. This is just the teen series. This specific one that I'm holding, it's at the shade A Go Go. It's the one that I have lost for a lot of months and I have found where I was moving and I was so sad for months because this was one of my favorite lip products and then I lost it and it was under the couch and I found it during the movement. Yay, I can use it again, oh my God. And I was so happy. Also, I have some more from this series. It's the Just a Tint Duo. I think that it's also discontinued. I'm sorry guys, but these are my absolute favorites and I don't want to lie to you just because I want to mention something that is not discontinued nowadays. So I don't think that they have names because they're just a duo and it was called Virtually Obsessed. So I highly recommend you to try the Just a Tint series, something like find a color that you like and try it. They smell like passion fruit and I love the smell, the packaging, every. Thing. Do I have anything else from Colourpop that I want to talk about? Yes, I have something else and basically I'm gonna tell you about their stick eyeshadows. I thought I had it here anyway, I cannot find it, don't worry. I'm gonna just explain to you how amazingly they perform on the eyes and specifically on my waterline because I find it extremely difficult to keep any kind of pencil in my waterline. I have an extremely wet waterline and basically everything tends to disappear. One of the very few that actually remained at my waterline without going anywhere. I have an extremely wet waterline and it's very difficult for products to stay there, to stay at their place. Now, when it comes to Colourpop and Soul Beauty, because in my head they're kind of the same brand, they're releasing stuff together, they're doing collabs together, etc., etc. So to me, it's just one brand. So I'm referring to them both. One thing that I haven't tried either from Colourpop or from Soul Beauty are their complexion products. I mean, I haven't tried their foundations, concealers and stuff like that. I have no idea, absolutely no idea, how do they perform. I'm really curious to do so. Maybe I will do it very soon, but for now I don't have an opinion. If you have an opinion, please, please, please write down in the comments and also write down in the comments your top five, which would be the five brands that you would choose to continue your life with and what product are you gonna take from each brand. And that was it. This was our video for today. I hope that you enjoyed my choices. I'm so curious to hear about your choices. Thank you so, so much for being here with me today. I appreciate you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. And everywhere my name is Cat Lady Antigone and see you next time with a makeup tutorial. Until then, bye bye!